Welcome back into the studio. Thanks for joining me as we work through the alphabet of textures, one letter at a time. And today we're on the letter J. Already pre gessoed my pages um, with my Studio 71 white gesso. And so that's already done. I am on J, so we're gonna work with some jute and some jigsaw puzzle pieces, um, which I have not gessoed, which I should probably do because they've got this shiny coat to them and I'm not quite sure about that. So I am gonna get those gessoed and that's probably where I will start. We'll see how much of this I can get um, in and how creative I can be with this stuff and we'll go from here. Welcome aboard. So you're probably curious as to why I'm using a brush when I always use my fingers. And the reason why I chose to go with a brush on this um, background is because I wanted to get a lot of movement. Um, and you'll see I do um, forego the brush when it comes to blending on that left hand panel. And out pops my bin full of lovely text. Searching for the text that I want to use for my decoupage onto that background. And I am actually going to find a whole bunch of text and then I'm going to pull out my tissue bin. Um, my tissue bin is generally where I have tissue, but I also have coffee filters and tea bags in there as well. To be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse, where every mile is a new beginning, and every bend holds a new end. Eyes on the road, don't lose control. I'm speeding fast to chase my soul. I'm
Alright, now I am preparing a glaze. So glaze is generally, I know I've said this a lot, but it's um, generally 50-50 glazing medium to acrylic paint. Uh, obviously here I've gotten a little carried away with my glaze. Um, and lots of baby wipes. So generally the, the function of a glaze, there's many ways to use it. What I'm using here is to accentuate the texture purely of that the decoupage that I've done in the background. Some of the papers that I have used um, have some lovely texture, especially um, that grayish, um, bumpy kind of looking paper. That is my beloved IKEA paper. And it kind of disintegrates when you're um, using matte medium on it. And so it just becomes kind of like, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of like a really dry paper clay as if you were pulling off little pieces of it so I'm just trying to capture that um, and um, all that lovely decoupage texture All right, you're gonna probably notice a mistake I'm making right here. Of course, I don't notice it for a while. So let's see how long it takes for me to notice it. Um, but just hang with me here.
this is a piece of jute ribbon. Uh, I don't know what else to call it, but I found it in the floral department. And the strands going um, horizontal are jute. The strands going vertical are actually plastic strands. Um, and I love this stuff and I don't know what made me think that this would make a good pocket but that's where I went To be home, passing by those little towns I know so well, stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse, where every mile is a new beginning and every friend holds. All right, I have gotten out my lid 
and my gesso so you know I'm going to be doing some dry brushing using my fingers. I've had quite a few people ask me about these fine liner bottles. I have quite a few of them. And this one has um, is filled with uh, burnt umber. But what it is, it's acrylic paint and airbrush medium mixed together and put into a fine liner. And I have a brown, which I, is the burnt umber. I have a black and a white. Um, and I believe I also have um, a cadmium orange that I like to use. I love these bottles. I love how you can get that paint down in the corners and then I love to spray them with um, my fine mister and just watch that uh, color just kind of expand out. It's a great technique and I, I love to use it. All right, if you haven't seen my glaring mistake yet, you're about to hear all about it. All right, so you know how you look at something and you look at it and you look at it and soon the lines become blurred. And this is kind of the case in the, for this page. Um, so this was another mistake that um, I encountered in this project. Um, there have been a few and I will talk about those uh, primarily at the end, but I wanted to talk about this one right now is that I was very much into this page, um, but I had a preconceived notion and that blinded me. So even though I have the J written here and you know, I've seen the letter J, I'm not dyslexic. I, you know, there's no excuse other than I just had such an investment that it, I became blinded to um, what was actually going on. And that is my letter J, that is not a letter J. It's the letter U with the piece cut off. It is a backwards J, but I cannot turn it around. The composition's already created. These are so well stuck together with my um, Finabare um, heavy body gel that um, it would pull this apart. This is brings us to something that I should have thought of um, in the beginning when I was developing the concept around how this journal would go together and in my binding. And these are same pages. I should have had them separate pieces of paper where I sandwiched them together in the end because then if I had a mistake like this, I could take this out and completely redo it and be able to put it back in. But I can't do that because my artwork for I is on the other side. So I thought about this. This is a good learning experience. It is um, something that... Um, 
taking a photo of your piece before you call it done um, and then looking at it sometimes helps having somebody else look at it is also another thing that can help um, but obviously I didn't do that so um, what I need to, I'm going to go do is I am actually going to put in a letter J and leave this as part of my textural background so to speak the other thing I wanted to introduce was a pop of color and I think I'm gonna do that with the marabou um, art sprays I'm not sure if I'm gonna go in with the chili or with the tangerine at this point I'm gonna do um, a tester and see what I want to do it I'm gonna do the J in whatever color I choose but and then add a pop of this color someplace else in here um, to tie it in but that's where I'm headed next and I just wanted to bring it to your attention um, because it was it needed to be talked about because it is something that happens for artists it happens in other things too After having um, used my water brush like this, where I was just dipping it in, I was getting, uh, with the option of using the water, I've decided I think I'm going to get a whole bunch of these water brushes and load them with my Marabou colors. Please like and subscribe.